continue. There we go. Good. Great. So, so I... this meeting is being recorded. And at this time, I'd like to recognize the chair, Professor Austin Serrett. Thank you. Thank you, Angie. I believe we do have a quorum. So I'm going to ask members of the committee to respond vocally, let us know they're present. They can hear Alex. Present. Thank you, Christine. Here. Sharon. Here. Anika. Present. Anika. Thank you. Town Manager Bockelman. Present. Thank you. Thanks for thanks for joining. And I'm Austin Serrett. I'm here. Okay. The next item is the approval of minutes of October 25th. Is there a motion to approve the minutes of October 25th? I'll make a motion. Thank you, Christine. Is there a second? Second. Thank you. Okay. Are there any corrections to the minutes? Okay. Are we ready to vote? Uh, voting uh, to approve the minutes, Alex? Yes. Christine? Yes. Sharon? Yes. Uh, Paul? Yes. Anika? Yes. And Jennifer, we're just voting to approve the minutes of the 25th of October. Have you had a chance to look at them? Yes. And do you vote to approve? I do, yes. Thank you. That's great. And Austin votes to approve. Thank, thanks so much. Okay. <clears throat> Next is we have an opportunity for an update from our town manager. Um, the the town council is looking at the uh, appropriation request for the additional $9 million cost uh, that has been referred to the finance committee. The finance committee had one meeting on it. They're going to have another meeting on it scheduled for tomorrow at two o'clock and then most likely a meeting on Friday at one o'clock. Um, and then there's a council meeting on November 4th. And then there's also a council meeting on November 18th. So I think you mean December. December, December. November. Correct. Correct. Thank you. All right. Okay. Anything else from the town manager? That's it. All right. Any questions for the town manager? I will just say on my own behalf, how much I've appreciated uh, Paul's uh, leadership before the council and before the finance committee making clear uh, how important this project is to the town. And I, I just think he's been incredibly clear about it and very, very helpful. And I wanted to express my gratitude. Thank you, Austin. Okay. How about a financial update? Jennifer. Um, I don't have nothing. I don't have anything to report at this time. Okay. Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, we were going to do the review and approval of invoices, which we had listed under you, Jennifer, but I think maybe we'll We'll have Tim review the invoices. Is that okay? And may I inter interject quickly? Sure. Sharon, could you let Bob sure. Parent into the room, please? Okay. Tim, do you want to lead us through invoices? Uh, sure. Will, do you have those um, handy? Sure. I'll share my screen. Thank you. Oh. Post has disabled screen sharing. Can you give me permission to share my screen? Can everyone see my screen now? Yes. Will you just want to yeah. go through these yeah. invoices? Sure. So first invoice uh, you're seeing on the screen is thank you for the month of October. Um, it's Feingold Alexander Architects uh, work on the construction documents, um, which at the time of this invoice, uh, they were about 80% complete with their construction documents and Collier's has reviewed this invoice and finds it acceptable. And recommend right. that's sixty-eight thousand one hundred twenty-five dollars. Correct. You want to go through them all? Sure. 
next same billing period, the month of October, um, we have Collier's invoice. This has been our standard monthly uh, billing rate. Should be the same as last month, which is 7984 May I just ask a quick question? Number five, develop draft RFQ for pre-qualification of contractors. Could you just remind me what that is? Sure. So uh, with um, public procurement in Massachusetts, you have to go through a, a two-part bidding process. The first part is you pre-qualify um, filed sub-bidders and general contractors. Um, and there's a prescribed uh, process that you go okay. through that's set up by DKM, but it's a mass general law. Uh, and then once you get uh, a list of pre-qualified uh, vendors, um, then the second part of the procurement is then they can submit bids, but only okay. those who have been pre-qualified pre okay. are allowed to submit bids. So okay. the RFQ is out in the street. Um, we're expecting that um, those uh, responses are going to be due back on uh, December 6th, uh, which at that right. time would start um, uh, the review process would begin. Thank you. Thank you very much. So this invoice is for $7,984. Okay. Next invoice is for the owner's commissioning agent MV5. Uh, this is their first invoice. And this is for, they did a design mm -hmm. review of the construction documents for um, both the mechanical, plumbing, electrical systems, and the envelope of the building. So um, the new glazing, walls, windows, roof, all that sort of thing. And they provided comments and questions to Feingold Alexander. So that's what this invoice is for. Okay. And final invoice is the town's cost estimator, um, which they've completed there. Mm -hmm. Um, schematic design cost estimate, and this is the last invoice um, we'll be seeing from them. Okay, so we have four invoices. Is that right, Well, Correct. Okay, if, if someone would make a motion to approve the payment of these invoices, and then if there's a second, then any questions? So is there a motion? I'll make a motion. Thank you, Christine. Is it seconded? Second. second. Yeah. Okay, any questions about these invoices? Okay. Uh, Will, if you could take the screen share down. Here we go. And again, Perfect. I'm going to ask uh, to um, approve the payment of the invoices. Uh, Christine? Yes. Sharon? Yes. Paul? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. Thank you. Alex? Yes. Anika? Yes. Thank you. And Austin votes? Yes. Okay. Uh, Tim, you have some project updates? Sure. I'm going to share my screen as well. Just thank you. Oh, and I'm disabled as well. Um, okay. So um, can you see the schedule that I put up? Not yet. There, there we go. Yep. Oh, okay. Great. Um, so just wanted to um, go through just really about where we are. This this schedule is a couple weeks old, but yep. um, we're in this gray bar in November. And really what we're doing is kind of getting near the end of the permitting process. There is still in the um, uh, planning review board. Um, there was uh, recently a meeting and um, anticipating another meeting at the beginning of December. Um, and hopefully that will um uh, clear up that process uh, and make way for a building permit uh, by the contractor and in, in, um, in the spring. Uh, we're targeting uh, when they come on board in, in early March, but that might be out a, a little bit before they get their paperwork in. Um, we are preparing for um, uh, going out to bid. As we mentioned, the pre-qual process is, is ongoing. So um, we've uh, advertised in the local paper and put a where they're typically legal notices posted, also in combines and in um, um, the central register. Um, so those are gonna be going through a um, electronically through uh, bid docs online. 
uh, the pre-qualification process, uh, but we're anticipating that process um, ending up in early January and, and then going out to bid shortly uh, thereafter. Um, and then we'd go into um, uh, mobilization and, and construction um, uh, from that, there forward. Um, on a financial update, we do have just our, our budget where we, we have about um, $4.2 million under contract out of uh, the overall project budget um, and things are, are looking good. Um, we don't anticipate, um, well, we're right where we anticipated. We don't really anticipate contracting. Uh, the next big uh, event would be once the bids come in, um, there's some miscellaneous costs as we go, but uh, we'll be getting um, material testing agency on board, which would be outside the general contractor, uh, as well as some other um, consultants. But uh, the big one will be when the general contractor is brought on board. Uh, and that's all I have for an update. Um, I guess the, the other thing is we did talk about um, as far as the designs uh, going and moving forward, we've always talked about a, um, a potential for a, being as green as possible and including a PV array system on the roof, the flat roof where we have required by code to be PV ready. Um, yep. But we're always kind of on the fence of whether that's going to be something that was going to be in the project. So we're still investigating that PV as well as um, some interior items like the glass railing at the main stair uh, and what's the the, the best way to uh, to implement the, the bookshelves and the, and the railing uh, within the building. So those are something that we're uh, looking at potentially doing as a bid alternates and um, won't affect the the budget at all. But um, if um, oftentimes when you go out to bid, you put in some items that you get uh, the benefit of a bid, a bid number versus um, asking for a number from the contractor once the contractor is already on board. So um, we'll be taking a look at that and maybe at a next meeting, we can um, let you know where we where we come down on that. Okay. One thing I wanted to say, Tim, about the panels, just so people remember, the panels are just icing on the cake. We are meeting all of our targets for sustainability, our EUIs. So all of that, we're still hitting. So we're as green as we have ever been, and we're still on target. Great. Um, Alex? Yeah, thanks, Alan. That was actually going to be my question. Have we gotten the updated tally report yet? We. Josephine, you can chime in. We we had a draft of it. Okay. Did we distribute distribute that, Josephine? We it's where it. it's all good news. Yeah, we will be distributing this week. Um, and the numbers are in favor, in our favor, um, as we had suspected. Um, now that we have more detail in our model, in the building, we um we are achieving better numbers than we were previously with the embodied carbon analysis. So it's it's been great news so far. But we okay. will distribute this week. And 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 just a refresher for uh, you know, maybe Bob and some of the Jennifer and some of the newer people to the project. Um uh, uh was it was on the sustainability committee for the library, which put forth the goals around the sustainability for the project that the trustees ultimately approved. And the the, the really the driving force was around um, the total carbon footprint. Um, and I believe this is the first project uh, the town has done where we were actually looking at embodied carbon. And so we had the tally report done so that we could make sure that the net result, um, anybody can build a green building, but if you're dumping a ton of carbon in the earth to build the green building, you know, you really haven't come out ahead. So a real goal of this project was to make sure that um, that we were actually ultimately reducing our carbon footprint and uh, looking at the embodied carbon. And the PV, which I know initially the trustees had requested uh, that PVs be put on the roof. And I know that that somewhere along the way we've, we've lost potentially the, the PV, but I just want to put out there for the group that um, I believe the reduction to the EUI from the solar panels themselves was like 0.6% was what was projected. So it certainly didn't make up, a. it wasn't what was driving the, our reduction in, in EUI. And really the idea and recommendation um, of the sustainability committee around the solar was, uh, it, you know, it's something that we can point to. Everybody can see solar on a roof and go, hey, look, that's a sustainable building. So even though that's not really what's, 
making the building sustainable. Um, that was the idea behind it. And so, um, you know, I think if we are able to do it in an alternative bid and it makes sense, and I think in terms of how panels can be funded these days looks very different than when we first uh, went into this project. So we might have options now we didn't have available, but um, in, in terms of the, the the PV arrays, it's sort of the tail wagging the dog as it were, the, the real thing that we want to, that, that the committee wanted to look at was total embodied carbon. So as long as that calorie report is on on par, that's that's really what's important um, and what was stressed. So thanks for the clarification on that. And I look forward to the report. Thanks, Alex. Okay, other questions to Colliers about their report, about the schedule or anything else? Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Tim. And thanks for the work that you're doing. And obviously, thanks to FAA. Uh, the next item is a subcommittee report from the Design Subcommittee. I have nothing to report. Thank you, Christine. Alex, outreach. Um, so the outreach committee hasn't met, but as the chair of the outreach committee, um, I've been working with um, Berkshire Design and library director in terms of reaching out to our abutters and making sure that all of our abutters are uh, know, know, full, know, know everything we know as we know it. They know what the timeline is. We know where any concerns might be. And we've had really nothing but great responses. We had some really nice conversations with uh, the Strong House um, as well as some of the other abutters. So that continues. but. Um, Appreciate the work of, of everybody on that. Great. Thanks. Okay. Any questions for Alex? Okay. Uh, I know of no correspondence to the committee. Uh, no topic, not anticipated 48 hours in advance. So next item, item nine on the agenda is public comment. We have four attendees. Thank you all for coming if uh, anybody would like to make a public comment if they would raise their virtual hand that would be great okay i see no uh, indication of anybody wanting to make a comment okay so thank you all for for um meeting it's nice to see you all uh we'll look forward to seeing you again uh, you know, soon into the future. Um, the next JLBC meeting is scheduled for the 6th of December. Is that right, Sharon? Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Excuse me. Um, that's what we had set before meeting tonight. Um, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to look at Tim and Ellen, if, if that meeting is maybe now premature or what do y'all think? We need a meeting, Justine. What do you think? I think we're pretty much in the home stretch. So uh, we don't need the meeting on the 6th of December. Is that what I'm hearing you say, Owen? Yes. And do you agree, Justine? We've got all our answers. Yeah. Great. I agree. Yep. Thank you. Okay. We will, um, we will cancel that meeting on the 6th. And Sharon, as necessary, will reconvene us um, when when we are next need to meet. Okay, it's nice to see everybody. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. have a good one.